If you're taking the Unit 1 Biology exam in the next few days, this video is for you. I'll walk you through step by step how to get ready, what to focus on, and what are the topics that really matter, and how to make the best use of the time you got left. Let's start with carbohydrates. Examiners love questions about drawing disaccharides and explaining the properties of starch as a storage molecule. Those come up a lot. Next, with lipids, make sure you can tell the difference between saturated and unsaturated fatty acids. And when it comes to proteins, learn how to draw the peptide bond and remember all the bonds responsible for the tertiary structure. Moving on to biological membrane, understand the components and the role of the phospholipid bilayer as well as the fluid mosaic model. You also need to know the membrane permeability experiment in full details. Then comes gas exchange. Study the adaptation of gas exchange surfaces and make sure you can apply fixes low in different situations. Also, be confident identifying the type of membrane transport happening in any question, whether it's diffusion, osmosis, or active transport. Next up, nucleic acids. Go through the stages of DNA replication and protein synthesis carefully. And don't forget the meselson stahl experiment. It's a favorite among examiners. Know all the different types of mutations and make sure you can draw and interpret genetic diagrams. Cystic fibrosis also appears in many contexts, so study that very well. Finally, let's move to transport and circulation. Understand the advantages of double circulation. Study the structure of the heart and the cardiac cycle really well, especially the calculations. Learn how arteries are adapted for their function and make sure you can explain the oxygen dissociation curve of hemoglobin. And of course, revise blood clotting, atherosclerosis, risk factors, and the treatment of cardiovascular disease. They are all very common in Unit 1.